Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lovers. My name is Clémence. I talk about fragrance. Welcome back. Merlin et this is Merlin. Okay, sorry. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about the Fragrance Foundation Awards. So basically, the Oscars of the fragrance. I find them quite helpful because I've done some fragrance purchase after seeing the Fragrance Foundation Awards. We're gonna watch the results together. Okay, let's not talk too much. Let's directly check the results. Fragrance of the Year, Women's Luxury. We have the finalists were Rose and Cuir from Frédéric Mal, a song for the Rose Eau de Parfum from Gucci, Violet and Amber Absolute Joe Malone, Soleil Neige from Tom Ford, Libre Wayser. For me, the best one of the range is Soleil Neige from Tom Ford. Uh, this is very unsa own, so that's why I'm saying that. <laughs> it's uh, something you can wear in summer and in winter to feel very cozy, comforting, it's quite powdery. I just really love this fragrance. But uh, the winner is YSL Libre Eau de Parfum. I'm quite happy about that though, because I think it's a great design. It's the first de designer since years in the ladies' range that I'm like, okay, I'm proud of that. This is nice. And you know what? because like they had some lavender it's not a fruity floral full of sweetness and for that i was really happy about and i think it's a really great great creation and it's the fragrance i want to purchase actually next category is fragrance of the year women's prestige fragrance with the other one is women luxury and women prestige prestige is that kind of more designer but why is that libre in there Prestige and luxury. Do I really get that? Is that for designer prestige? Am I being stupid? Well. <laughs> the finalist was Gabrielle Essence Chanel. I really like that. Idol Lancôme. L'interdit eau de toilette Givenchy. Wild Puppiness. Tiffany and Love for her Tiffany. So clearly my favorite is Gabrielle Essence. Really like it because it's an overdose of tuberose. So it's very, very creamy. The winner is Lancôme Idol. Did I did I did I do a video on this one? Ah yes, I think I did. <laughs> Why? This video, you will see a lot of my opinion. It doesn't mean it's the right opinion. I mean, fragrance is like food. Like, you like it, you don't like it, you know. So it's my opinion. So don't get offended if I say anything. I'm just sharing with you what I'm thinking. I don't like Lancome Idol. I think it's uh, all very sweet. I just, I want something different. This is, this is just, and I've seen it everywhere on Instagram with girls, like fashion blogger or just like lifestyle blogger holding this bottle like this and I was just like please you all do the same picture like I think they've been asked to do that for sure but I'm just like Ugh. so okay fragrance of the year men's luxury so the finalists are Sauvage Parfum from Dior, The Voice of the Snake Eau de Parfum Gucci. Ooh, I really like this one. Subto, but really interesting. Formal House of Sillage, didn't try. Buenos Aires Ignacio Figueras, didn't try. Straight to Heaven Extreme by Kilian. The winner is here. The winner is Dior Sauvage Parfum. Kilian Straight to Heaven, next to it. And the voice of the snake. And it's Dior Sauvage Parfum. I mean, I love you, François de Machy, but uh, we've seen it all over, like since many years, the toilette, the eau de parfum. I mean, there's nothing really new. It's a nice interpretation to me, but... God. No comment. Fragrance of the year, men's prestige. Uh, John Varvatos and Nick Jonas, Silver John Varvatos, nice. K by Dolce & Gabbana, not nice, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Explorer Mont Blanc, nice. Polo Blue Gold, Blend Ralph Lauren, nice. Eros Flame Versace, all right. And the winner is John Varvatos uh, featuring Nick Jonas, the Silver Edition.
it's a nice fragrance I mean I've tried it and I quite le- enjoyed it so it's an easy to wear to me but it's got a bit of deepness as well and I think it's quite nice for daytime however if I would have choose I would pick this one or the Mont Blanc Explorer okay next one Earth of the Year Universal Luxury Okay, finalist are Sundays by Byrido. I like that very much. Aventus Colon Creed, I mean, who can say it doesn't smell nice? The Eyes of the Tiger or the Parfum Gucci, really nice. Rolling in Love by Killian. Oh, I want to buy this one. Cozy, so sexy, I love it so much. Lavender Extreme by Tom Ford. Uh, that's nice, but I think too much lavender for me, but uh, that's a nice one though. And the winner is by Redo Sundays. Uh, very modern to me by Redo, so sometimes it doesn't really go to my style, but this one has a very clear and pure fragrance. I would have preferred Rolling in Love again, Killian. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice, okay, okay. Fragrance of the Year, Universal Prestige. Finalist are Sunset Riot by All Saints. Didn't try that. Pacific Lime from Atelier Cologne. Nice. Uh, I thought it was really, really sharp lemon to me, but I enjoyed it, but a bit too much lemon to me. Memoire d'une odeur by Gucci. Uh, honestly, I'm not too sure about this one. Uh, it's quite particular, but I wasn't mind blown. I enjoyed the fact that Gucci went with something quite unique. Really enjoyed that though. Fun things happen after sunset by Killian. Killian is getting all of the fragrance this year. Amazing, but he really deserves it to me. But the winner is Gucci Memoire d'une odeur. So I'm not a fan of the chamomile and touch and stuff but so I, I won't it won't be for me but i have to say gucci made a really nice move great because gucci we're not used to have them showing off in perfumery i would say they they don't have for me something quite exceptional or different and i i really like that they've done a move like that so i'm happy about this decision in the next one breakout star Okay, Carolina Herrera, Good Girl Eau de Parfum Légère, Jazz Club from Maison Margiela, Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. This is the free finalist. I love Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It makes me think of the seaside. It doesn't last very long, but it's such a beautiful scent. I really like to overspray it and then I can feel it a bit on me and I really like it. And Jazz Club Maison Margiela is one of my favorite scents. It's one of the fragrances I wear the most, like, and the bottle goes very quick. So so the winner is Carolina Herrera Good Girl Eau de Parfum Légère and I'm like what? <laughs> I don't know but compared to the two other ones I'm just a bit confused it's more classy the two other no? like I mean is that just my opinion? ok uh, next one uh, fragrance all of fame uh, finalist Curve for Men Lys Clairbonne Musk Ravageur from Frédéric Mal. Trésor Lancôme, Amazing Grace Philosophy and Very Sexy by Victoria Secret. I think there's the winner is clear and easy for me to see. It has to be Meus Ravageur from Frédéric Mal. The other one are nice. Don't get me wrong. Trésor is such a classic. But honestly, Meus Ravageur stands out. And it's the winner. So, <laughs> Well done, Musk Ravageur. I'm really happy to see it there. I mean, uh, it's one of my recent purchases, so I'm even more happy uh, to have purchased it. But yeah, no, I mean, compared to the other one, like, I mean, the, like, I think the decision was quite easy. Like, to me, at least, to me, like, there's a very high difference. Fragrance of the year, popular. Finally, so thank you next by Ariana Grande. I've got that. I really like it. Hello by uh, Lionel Richie. I don't know that. Kylie Jenner new lips. Did Kylie Jenner did something? Oh, the Kardashian, like they never stop really. Transcend the F- PH Luid project. Okay, didn't try that. Rosie Go White Spirits. The winner is Kylie Jenner. <sighs> I'm not a fan of the Kardashians, so I'm just like gonna be like, yeah. But I, I wish to try their fragrance, especially not really Kylie Jenner and stuff like that. I really want to try Kim fragrances. I think there's some that are great, especially the packaging, I think are absolutely stunning. So I can't wait to try. Next one. Perfume Extraordinaire of the Year. 
have the finalist Taba 28 by Miami Le Labo. Ok. Squid Zoologist Perfume. Aftroida. Aqua Enjoy Day. Copper comme des garçons. Nice. What is that? Double. Double F 2020 A and other. What is this? Guys, did somebody of you try that? What is this? Rose and Queer by Frederick Miles. And the winner is Squid. I love the zoologist. My favorite is Dragonfly. I love Camel. Million. Uh, the thing I like. Panda, I really like. It is smell that marine. For me, it's like a good representation of, of the squid, really. I did like it, but I was not mind blown. I, I don't know in what occasion I would worry. But otherwise, I'm quite happy about this choice. I think it's nice. So I'm, I'm happy about it. Really happy. Especially to see Zoology. Zoology is, is such a great brand. Indie fragrance of the year. Slow Dance by Byredo. Okay. Oud Safran et Eric Bertambo Flowers. Blousy Myler Harris. Blousy. Of Myler Harris. How come I didn't try that? Notorious Oud, DS and Doja didn't try. Vetiver Absolute from Tom Brown. I didn't try. But it sounds something I like. I love Vetiver. My god, like my fragrance knowledge is so basic. I need to try more. <laughs> Is Tom Brown Vetiver Absolute? I'm curious about that, like guys. Like, I would love to hear your opinion if you tried because um, I love Vetiver fragrance when it smells smoky, but what I like is when it's a bit rounder sometimes. So, I feel this one could be like that because it's written absolute. Let me know. Let me know. Consumer choice, women's popular. Finalist of Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. Whoop, like it. Pure Sugar. Don't know that. Eau de Couture by Cher. It's really cute. Amazing Grace, Magnolia Philosophy. And the winner is Cher Eau de Couture. Didn't try that. I want to try it. It looks cute. Consumer Choice, Women's Prestige. Finally, so Good Girl, Légère, Carolina Herrera. Daisy Love, Also oh Sweet, Marc Jacob. Bombshell, Intense, Victoria Secret. I've got Bombshell. It's, it's all right. Libre YSL. I mean, Libre for me is winner, like, sure. No, Consumer Choice says Daisy Love, Marc Jacob, also sweet. I mean, it's cute and the packaging is very cute. I mean, I've tried it and I didn't dislike it. I mean, it was cute. It's too sweet for me. It's nice. Why not? Consumer Choice Men's. Finally, Boss Bottle Infinite Hugo Boss et Explorer Mont Blanc. Eros Flame Versace and the winner is Buzz Bottle Infinity. Okay, I mean I've tried that. Uh, it was nice. It was really nice. So yeah, why not? I I'm surprised. I would have saw everyone would have voted for Mont Blanc Explorer. Aging of the year, women's. My God, that's so cute! Oh, the juice! I want it! I really want this. This is the cutest thing I ever seen. I want it! I want this! I need it! Packaging of the year, men's. I mean, I like the crown, don't get me wrong, but I think it just... I don't know, I mean, it would, it would look nice in my display, but I just don't like the scent, really. But yeah, okay, that's cute, okay. Wait. Universal packaging of the year. Oh yes, yes, I so agree with that. Uh, Gucci, the alchemist garden, the eyes of the tiger. I love it. I think it's amazing. And it looks like a, you know, an old school um, pharmacy uh, type of packaging. You know what I mean? A lab, but a very old uh, lab, like uh, back in the day, in Middle Age, or I don't know when, like, you know, in the Victorian area. And they're mixing the ingredient to cure you. It, it really looks like that. I really enjoy it. I think it's beautiful. Gucci made such a nice range with the alchemist garden with this vintage vibe i was surprised um i need to dive more into that i want to go to gucci to try some things but pretty we've seen everything i hope you enjoy discovering uh, the result with me uh, please tell me what are your biggest surprise in the comments and what's the one you agree and what's the one you disagree uh, remember that it's just opinion in here it's so right to disagree the fact that we have these oscars and i'm very thank thankful of the fragrance foundation because i think they're doing an amazing job and it's great to have such a ceremony like that uh, for our amazing fragrance so 
if they ever watch this video, I'm like, thank you so much. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet, leave me a little like to reference my video. And thank you for all the people that are sending little tip um, and little contribution on my YouTube account in the description below. Thank you. And I will see you very soon. Bye now.